Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Taka, and it's time for a rummage sale finds video. This is literally just my finds from today, and it's just my finds from one rummage sale. Mind you, it was a senior center rummage sale, so it was a bunch of stuff combined together, but I did find quite a few things. Um, so I'm going to start with my cutest and cuddliest find, and that is this adorable uh, Lou Rankin by Dakin uh, plush seal, who still has his tags. I paid a quarter. His name is Spencer. He says, I flip and I flop and slide as I go jumping and playing on icy flows. And it was worth the quarter just because I did this all the way home in the car. Um, oh, get back here. He is trying to flip and flop some more. And, uh, someone must have put their entire seal collection in because I found a couple ornaments. There were a ton more, but these were the, the smaller ones that were a quarter each. Um, I'll, if I sell them, I'll probably sell them together. So you got this two over here and look her fin, the, his fins go through the ice. So it's an ornament to hang on your tree. And other than they're really dusty, these were the only ones that didn't feel like they would literally break the branch of your tree. There was a little bit larger ones on the other side of the room, but they, they felt like they were just going to go right through your tree. Uh, and I picked up a planter for 50 cents and you know, uh, it, the pink elephant got me more than anything. I think this is the baby girl one. I'm thinking there was one with a blue hat as well. It does have a little chip on the back of the hat, uh, but that's not the way the planter faces. So I don't think that deters it too much. I don't see any other chips or cracks. Uh, it's made in Taiwan. It says 9-40. I'm sure that's just a, a number. And then it says Rubens Originals. So it's not napkinware, it's Rubens. But for 50 cents, I thought I'd grab that. Um, my first find of the day was this, which was in a whole other room that you'd pay for, and then it kept clanking on the freaking table. So, like, double-checking, it's not chipped. I paid 75 cents for this. I believe it is an ice bucket with a gambling theme. And I don't see any real marks but I might be wrong I haven't had time to research it does look like it's not just a complete circle on the bottom it looks like it's a C so I don't know I'm gonna have to look it up so I will try to sell this if it doesn't sell it it'll look good with dad's poker chip collection uh, some seasonal stuff that I'll get up on Etsy right away are this pair I paid a quarter piece for of Fitz and Floyd candle holders. There is some black candle residue. I'll have to stick these in the freezer for a minute to get that out. Um, but they are just adorable. One's laying down with the pumpkins and one's standing up. And so far I've only found one small chip right there, which you can't really tell unless you're looking for it. Um, but they are marked Fitz and Floyd on the bottom. So I thought I'd give those a try, plus they're very cute ghosts. Uh, okay, uh, I picked this up just because I, for a quarter it was worth that just for the Legos themselves, but there's a great propeller piece here. Um, I might just keep it like this. It's a little plane with a stand. Display it with my spaceships or something. I also have another plane I got a few weeks, months ago, so, I don't know. Worst case scenario, I take it apart and make a bigger plane using that propeller. For a quarter, I throw it in. I haven't gotten to research these at all. I just paid a quarter for them. It's two Cadet Nurse U.S. Uh, patches. I assume they go on either sleeve. Haven't researched those yet. Uh... I literally just listed an ashtray that looks very similar to this, not in the pineapple shape though. Um, so I'm wondering if it was Treasure Craft because it wasn't really marked, just marked made in the USA. This one's Treasure Craft from Maui, Hawaii, 
um, marked 1963 number 34. And it's got this very pretty green glaze, and I thought for 50 cents I'd try that. It would make a great paintbrush thing or uh, just a trinket tray, but I liked the pineapple uh, ornaments. Uh, I snapped up these homemade ornaments someone made for a quarter. Um, I'll probably try and sell them. They are uh, strawberry shortcake themed. Uh, and they're nice cloth ones, so they'll mail without breaking. Um, otherwise, I loved strawberry shortcake as a kid. Uh, okay. I will probably attempt to sell these. They have their boxes, but they're not in perfect shape. I paid a quarter each for them. But they're two uh, monk figurines by department 56 and I literally just got all this day so I haven't looked them up this looks like his uh, bow broke which I hadn't noticed but they're cute I like the one with its loop more anyway uh, this one cello and it does look like the bow may have broken off at some point and they tried to glue it back on and it fell right off but I figured for a quarter piece, I'd give them a try. Just put those by the boxes. Um, I've been doing well with these kind of metal signs. So for a quarter, I picked this one up because the doggy caught my eye. And it says, My dad, you're so kind and so thoughtful in all things that you do. Dads just don't come any finer than you. Uh, but I do think the dog with the slippers sells it more than anything. <sighs> I picked up a couple books for a quarter. Uh, Donald Duck and Garfield each a quarter. They just looked cute. I, I don't even know what years they're from. Uh, I picked up for a quarter... Uh, this old bank bag, which it has another bag inside of it. So this is actually a local piece from Ishbirming. It's the Miner's First National Bank. And it's this nice canvas. And inside it's, it's another uh, one that says, Seal Strong Drawstring Bag Registered. I just thought they were interesting for a quarter. Even if all they did end up doing was holding tarot cards, they'd be useful later on. That drawstring does not want to go back in. And then my last two items. This I just found. Uh, she has an Etsy shop. It's called Donna the Dead. Uh, www.xdonnaxthexdeadx.com does not take you anywhere anymore. So she's totally on Etsy now. So just Donna the Dead. And I thought at first it was Kafufufla, and I think it feels like that. But she's got a bunch of octopus and squid necklaces. I figured for a quarter I could try this. It looks adorable. This one's a female one with a bow on it. She's got a bunch of different ones on her Etsy shop. Uh, and they go between 25 and 35 most of her necklaces. Um, it's just a little polymer clay, but someone gave it up for, let me have for a quarter. Uh, this I'm definitely going to try and sell. It is a vintage kids thing. I'll probably take the broken one out of here. Apparently the SpaghettiOs clan split on the way home. It's so old, so we'll just put some of the mini cereals back in. I think they've taped a lot of them shut because the plastic started giving out. But I thought it would be a cute thing to put up vintage. It's like a little food things, all the old advertising on the boxes. Apparently someone thought it was real food. Uh, a little fly in there. But... I figured for 50 cents I could stick it on as a lot on Etsy and see if anyone wants to add it to their kids thing. Won't put much on it. I 
again, we'll just take the destroyed one out of there because it's totally disintegrated. But that is everything I found. I'll list what I can on Etsy in the next two days and then I'll just keep the rest. I haven't decided if I'm keeping that seal or not yet. It's just really soft and cuddly. But I normally don't buy stuffed animals this big. I think he's like 18, 12 to 18 inches long. Yeah. I think he'd be expensive to ship, but since I only pay a quarter, I could afford to ship him. And he's so cute. All right. Well, thanks for watching.